Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I am going to teach you how you can generate a fake data for your experiment for your practice purpose using a library called Fursente. Okay, so this is a very beautiful library. You do not need to you know write a big code or complex code to generate our data. So basically, you can use uh, some other libraries called Faker, Faker, and some other libraries I have created a video in the past but this is very pretty straightforward the limitation is that it it can only generate 5000 rows but that is also good you know a good number of data right and uh, so what you need to do you need to own you know you need to just uh, you know install this library right pip install for a second day and then what you have to do import it and once you import it there is a function called quick underscore pi spark underscore df likewise we can have actually uh, you know we have other functions also like dask df so dask is a parallel processing uh kind of uh, engine okay not engine you know uh, kind of uh, like it is similar to pandas right and we have pandas also we can create a data frame uh, with for pyspark also for pyspark also for dask also depends on you i since we are this is a series of uh, pyspark and uh, databricks so i will be using here uh, PySpark. So there's a two methods you can say two functions, right? Quick underscore PySpark and PySpark underscore df. So first I will go with the what? I will go with the quick underscore pi spark underscore df. So what it will do? It will take a it will take what? It will take it it will take a list of columns. So generally by default by default it will take the attributes of person so let's say person can have first name person can have last name person can have sex gender email and there is another parameter called number of rows so when i hit this button so you will see i am having the data right actually sex gender both are th both are same only i can have over here age also because age belongs to a person you can see right now but if i try to write here country so it will fail it will saying hey country does not recognize or something like that see person object has no attribute country now i am saying hey i want to create a data where where i can have a country address some other the blah blah things right in that case see actually i have we have to import person class and address class from this mimesis right and i have to create an object so i created an object called p and ad for address class right then we have p dot first name p dot last name p dot sex because this belongs to person right this belongs to person and ad belongs to country i mean at uh, this country belongs to uh, for address right likewise so if you want to have a uh, you know another thing so you can just put here ad dot now you can see i can have a city also then ad dot what what else we can have we can have a state also right state state name zip code postal code pin code blah blah things you know we can have it now likewise i believe we have something date uh, date time i believe also we have it so we can have like dt is equal to date time right and then what if if i try to put here i'm i'm, I'm not sure i never used it dt dot current your date of birth do we have we don't have date of month current year we can have you know something like hey uh uh we can have like year okay now now you can see we will having having a very good data like first name last name sex age country country code address city state year so see how easy it is we do not need to do anything just call the functions and write the code and save into a data frame you can save into a table you can save into a csv file and put it and get back to your local system also easy hey dude it's very easy right so this is how you know uh, i would suggest to go and uh, check out this uh, library which is which was built by matthew poe 
who is working in Databricks and he has created a lot of library packages in the past I have used in my real time project and my project courses too. You can explore it in my website going with courses page. There are a bunch of courses you can enroll it if you want and uh, tomorrow also I am going to publish another video called Databricks interview question there also you will be getting a lot of knowledge about Delta table and I believe that you will love it and please don't forget to subscribe it the channel don't forget to check out my courses over here you will definitely get a job if you go with the flow and if you prepare my questions thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture